Hi guys, in this video we're going to use the large function to sort data, raw data, into uh, by rows into a new table while simultaneously eliminating the bottom or lowest two observations. So basically what we're left with are if we have a group of say five numbers which is what we're going to do use here we're going to be left with the top three numbers the highest three for this example we would be left with these three numbers and on top of that we're going to have it sorted descendingly in other words we want 25 to show up first here in our sorted data table 22 to show second and 10 to show third. Now this is quite arbitrary as I chose to eliminate the bottom two observations and sort descendingly. You could have very well thought of many other possibilities to do this. <clears throat> For example, sort ascendingly and eliminate the largest two numbers or the largest three numbers or just the largest number or and then sort it. So I just chose this one of many possible examples that will give a feel for uh, all those other possibilities. After you see and learn how to do this, you'll be able to use this in any way that you need to. Okay, So this will combine sorting while simultaneously eliminating um, large or small, in this case small observations uh, row-wise, which is usually not how you sort data when you use the sort uh, uh, functionality in Excel. Okay, so let's get to it. So you have to be familiar with the large function. I'm going to use the large function here. Okay, and array functions, this could be the first time you see an array function, but uh, they're not too hard to follow. Okay, so I've made several more uh, beginner level videos on the components that we're using here and here we're just going to apply all of them together okay so you might be able to follow if you've never seen these functions if you having trouble with the particular function I'm using or functionality um, check out my channel I have the more simple videos available there okay for, so let's do this so basically what I want to do is for these eight rows of people okay eight rows of data each row representing a separate uh, kind of data set if you will for these purposes I want to create this kind of sorted table here all right so first thing we're gonna do is deal with row one okay so this guy these data so this is an array function so you have to highlight everywhere that the function is going to work or be applied first so highlight all three of those cells now start typing the function equals large open parentheses the array is the original data the original five observations of unsorted data comma now here is where we're going to tell Excel to give us the largest so we use the squiggly brackets when we want more than one uh, value returned two in other words a vector of values or an array to use Excel lingo so we one is the largest observation two is the second largest observation and three is the third largest we close those squiggly brackets we close the parentheses for the large function before you go ahead and hit enter you must understand that array functions are slightly different than regular functions. You have to hold shift, control, then hit enter. And it simultaneously applies the formula into all the selected cells. So let's see what it did. It in fact went into row A1, found the largest, that's one, the second largest, that's two, and the third largest, that's three. And since we highlighted an array, we gave it space to place those three numbers. And on top of that, 
it sorted them because the order which we asked for them was one, two, three. Okay, we could have done three, two, one, and we would have got the largest three numbers sorted ascendingly. So like I said, there's many possibilities. This is one arbitrary example that hopefully will illustrate the principles and the fundamentals so that when you need to apply this, you can uh, manipulate it uh, slightly and get what you need, all right? And as always, the beautiful thing about Excel is its reproducibility, or in this case, I should say, its ability to just copy and paste down, okay? Or drag down. So it went through each of these remaining seven rows, found the three largest observations for this row, 22, 16, 19, 16, and then sorted them descendingly. Okay, and it did that all the way down. So now maybe with this new data set here, um, you can do further analysis, or you can just see for this, let's say this, these were uh, scores on tests. At, for these students, you can see, oh, like their highest scores were, were this. You can compare the highest scores for the students. You can compare their second highest scores and their third highest scores. Okay? So, for further analysis, uh, hopefully when you're applying this to your particular uh, problem, um, you'll have kind of a clear objective of what you're trying to achieve. Here is just uh, the principles and maybe some uh, application. Alright? So, let's also, while we're at it, let's manipulate this a little and get the smallest three numbers using the small function. So. Again, it's, it work, it's going to work exactly the same way. Highlight all three cells equals small. Highlight the data. Squiggly brackets. Do we want it ascending or descending? Let's decide. If we go 1, comma 2, comma 3, what we're saying is give me the smallest, then the second smallest, then the third smallest in that order. So that's ascending. So 3, 10, 12. In fact, 3 is the smallest, 10 is the second smallest, 12 is the third smallest. We can drag this down and it works for all the cells. And just for thoroughness, equals small. Let's do 3, 2, 1, which is saying to Excel, give me the third smallest, then the second smallest, then the first smallest. So in essence, get me the three smallest numbers in this data, and then sort it descendingly. Okay? Con Shift, Control, Enter, remember. Okay? So it's the same three numbers we just had, except now sorted the opposite way. Okay? So you can now use these uh, tweaks to get what you need. All right, so I hope this was helpful. If this, uh, the small and the large function were completely new to you, I have, I have a separate video just introducing them. And also slightly more complex videos on some applications of this. I personally have had uh, map my life made a lot easier by using the large function along with the average function to um, go through a lot of data to, to drop the lowest numbers and average the highest numbers and so forth okay but if you need to and like to please watch those videos subscribe like comment until next time have a great day